Watch fans, today we are going to explore two of my favorites from two separate companies that just happen to be brother companies. Stay tuned as we get into exploration. All right, so while I'm exploring the caveman look, kind of growing a few things out, I felt it was only necessary for us to dive into some exploration. So we're gonna look at two watches that I think are absolutely phenomenal and the pricing, you can choose either or. However, you get the same pieces of perfection in both. So we're gonna look today at the Rolex Explorer 2 and we're gonna look at the Tudor Black Bay Pro GMT. So. Everybody knows about the Explorer 2, or we would hope everybody knows because it is such a beautiful and iconic piece. Actually introduced to the world in 1971, it was actually that piece that gave you the GMT for spelunking, as well as if you're just someone who enjoys the art of looking at caves and actually not so much of the rush and you just want to focus on the caving itself. Or let's say that this is actually going to be your profession and you're looking at the scientific aspect of it, which that one would be spellology. This piece definitely pops. It stands out. The polar white is one of my absolute favorite watches, period. That dial just gives so much life to the watch itself. Makes it so easy to read with those applied markers being in black, giving you that nice feel, that nice crisp trim. So it really stands off of the dial. And then when Rolex gives you that just glacier blue, that ice blue, perfect luminescence on it that you get now, this watch stands out. But guess what they did next? Tudor, being the brother company to Rolex, decides that they're going to give us that working man's watch and working man's price, just like Hans always promised. And they introduced us in 2022, the Black Bay Pro GMT. It gives me all the original features, even comes in in the original size that it did. So we're at a 39 millimeter, but we now have a 70 hour power reserve. Yes, 70 hours. We're also used to that 40. I put it down. It's not working because we never fully wind the watch like we should, right? I mean, I know I do, and this is what I do for a living. But to have a 70 hour power reserve where I can take it off on Friday night, sit it down on my desk, enjoy the kids for the weekend, pick it up and it's still moving, that works for me every single time. One of the other fun facts that I love about it, there are different straps that come with it as well. So even with this one, I can do a NATO strap. The NATO straps for Tudor are actually made completely different. I don't know if you did know, but I do wanna be the first to tell you, if not the cords and robes that are made by the Vatican, that's the company who actually makes these NATO straps. These NATO straps take over three weeks just to load the machine. That's before we even start production, just fabric and colors. I mean, we're talking over seven feet tall. This machine just gives something that is totally different. This company gives you a NATO strap that is totally different. I am in love with the Pro GMT just as much as I am with the Explorer 2. Now, the only thing I need them to do next I would love to see this watch in a polo right now. You tell me what you think here at Swiss Watch Expo. We have both and we want your comments below.